that. Also, <laughs> strong flavour. Of course, Riley. Come on, how can mine be strong? You just worry about your chumpy lentils, okay? <laughs> and let me worry about the heat of my oil strategy. He puts his snow into the fridge to cool. While having added some of his exotic spices, Atul is now cooking his chutney. Jason's about to start work on the centerpiece of his dish, the wild salmon, which he had researched carefully before the competition. He naturally wanted the finest salmon in the region for Great British Menu and travelled to Stratford, eight miles east from his restaurant. He'd come in search of the UK's oldest established salmon curers and smokers, H. Foreman and Son. I'm a big fan of uh, the cure. We use it at the restaurant for a few years now. Uh, and I think if we get it with the right salmon, it's going to give me some ammunition to beat at all. Founded in 1905, this family business is now in its fourth generation. And while they supply all manner of fish, smoked salmon is their speciality. Jason caught up with Lance Foreman, who's not only the managing director, but the great-grandson of the original owner. Lance is the man in the know when it comes to preparing the best wild salmon. We're not in the salmon season yet for wild salmon, but we still do buy a lot of wild salmon, um, which we freeze. Uh, because um, wild, wild salmon is only available for two or three months in yeah, the summer. Course, yeah. So if you want to smoke it all year round, as we do, you have to freeze it as a raw fish, and then you have fish for smoking the rest of the year. And that is the traditional way of doing it. Using a method known as the London Cure process, the salmon are covered in pure rock salt to draw out any moisture before smoking. This is a traditional curing process. We lose about 15% of the weight through this process. The fish will sit here like this for 24 hours. They're then rinsed and dried before being smoked with oak. They've been using the same process here for over 100 years, but the machinery has now moved firmly into the 21st century. I just assume that he's smoked in like a, a clay or, or sort of thingy oven and this is like you know, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. It's amazing. After smoking, there's just one more critical operation before the salmon can be sliced for the customers. The fish is still full of tiny bones. There are machines that do it, but they're not terribly successful. Yeah. I think we took out about eight million bones from fish last <laughs> year. So. And then you said that, that, that they'll be ready for the customer. That is now, yeah, ready for the customer, or some of them obviously want it ready yeah. sliced, and, uh, but now we're ready, you know, ready, to, uh, ready to eat it. Right. Having seen the entire production process, it would be a crime not to sample the product. Mm. Mm, it's really good. It's such a premier product. Well, hopefully we'll blow those judges away. Absolutely, you do that. <laughs> Back in the Great British Menu kitchen again, Jason's carefully dividing his London Cure salmon into healthy portions. The next job is to bag up the fish with some extra virgin olive oil before vacuum packing the parcels to remove the air. The final stage in the process is to drop the fish into a 40 degree water bath for 10 minutes. It's all very modern and it hasn't escaped Atoll's notice. What is your expectations from a modern British restaurant? Making sure the food's nice and light. You know, I think that's a massive trait of our uh, modern British food at the moment. Making sure it's you know, full of flavor, first and foremost and a few little sort of trendy techniques in there. And that, that's about it, really.